supposed to go up yesterday due to the fact that something happened and it didn't film. I'm going ahead and doing it now. It's just before dusk. It's my favorite drive in central Ohio. Route 257 between Route 42 and 750. And let the drive begin. Start it focus to the right because that is where the river is. This river is very calming. It was also a popular thoroughfare for the Native, Native Americans of this area back in the day. But if you are highly energy sensitive, you will feel a lot of things off of this river. At least I do. Um, this is a very serene, zen, calming drive. you're ever in Central Ohio, give it a try. See if you feel anything from being right next to the Scioto, as I call it, me Scioto. When I first came to this area over eight years ago, I fell in love with this river. There was something about this river. And there's another river to the east Olentangy River, but it doesn't have the same vibe as the Scioto, which is the one that I'm filming right now. The, there's a lot of little pullovers for people to fish. You can actually have a picnic or meditate. They have picnic tables and places to park. Not extensive, but enough see a few of those along this road like right there it's just really just I don't know I can't describe it I just know that I was drawn to it and before I even moved out here and I just happened to be driving up here for trying to get things set up I would just get on this road and just drive and I would just I could be in the most uneasy, queasy, anxious mood. Just one trip on this road along this river and I'd calm down. It was amazing. But maybe it's because, like I said, I'm very highly energy sensitive as well as um, sensitive to everything around me as well as within me. So I don't know if that has a lot to do with it, but this is hands down most beautiful uh, drive in, in the Columbus area. It's, I don't know, you'd have to come and check it out and, um, and tell me what you think. What do you pick up off of it? I'm just saying what I got off of it and still do. When I'd go out of town, if this was, if I was going in a northerly direction, I usually made this road part of my trip, especially when I used to go to Michigan a lot. I would always take this to the end. And it was just amazing. So like I said, if you are in the Central Ohio area, this is uh, definitely worth checking out. See if, it, uh, if you're anxious. It's definitely worth checking out then because there's no other road like it. Not that I've noticed, and I've been through a few, but none of them come close to this. And it might be because of its history with the um, Native Americans using this as a thoroughfare 
And then we have people here. I have to stop at the roundabout. All right. We're at Home Road, also known as Ohio 36. Now this is the last leg going up to 750. said it's just I don't know if I could explain it in one word or actually two words I would say extreme Zen as a person who is of the highly energy sensitive empathic intuitive uh, mindset that's how I would describe it I used to take drives on Sundays when I was living in another state just to get away from the chaos at home and I would just go out in the country on roads that had single and double letters as their names in this particular state but even the feel because there was no water and I'm very drawn to water it wasn't the same this is so different and there's just yesterday there were so many people on it i'm just really was uh, disappointed that my video didn't um, record that was who knows but between i would say probably between 36 and the end at 750 um the the width of this river is at its widest probably about a quarter mile thereabouts and that just increases the energy you can sort of see it through there a little bit um, but the more water the more the flow and that like I said definitely um, contributes to the energy it's just always moving so if there's anything any bad juju just the fact that this river just flows constantly, that bad juju just up and goes. And when, and I'm saying if, and when I do leave Central Ohio, because I don't plan on staying here, this is, hands down, the one thing I will miss the most is this drive along this river. There's another pull away, pull over. You know, if you really want to really get into it and absorb the energy, you can always pull over and, uh, like I said, picnic. There's tables there. You can meditate. You can fish. It's just, I don't know. Getting towards the end here. We're almost at 7:50, so. I hope you like the little narrative. It was a little off because I'm not really experienced at this. I'm just using my little iPhone 8 Plus. And um, it did a decent job. But like I said, no video is going to capture the energy. You have to be here to feel that. And there is the um, back buildings of the Columbus zoo and aquarium and with that i hope everybody that bothered to take the time to watch this i hope you have a pleasant day if not awesome and um i hope you enjoyed it thank you god bless